I want to show a realistic example of how things look in the morning. So bed is undone. We have random piles of clothes everywhere. We have bags over there that need to get tossed and recycled, okay, I should say. We have a mess be, in the living room. Okay, and I'm being ordered on what to do. And we have... We have Elf on the Shelf. <laughs> Good job. We have Jimbo. You named him Jimbo? Yeah. Nice. I want to touch that. Mess of a kitchen. I just I did not that. feel like tidying up last night. So I am going to go at it right now. So I, was, so I was just putting away some clothes and then I went through my closet real quick and found some stuff that I know I'm probably not, never going to wear again. So. I am just going to put them aside for donation. We're finally finished cleaning the kitchen. I have some morning leftovers here, some coffee, a half eaten kind breakfast bar. And this is my toddler's yogurt pouch. And now I am making a mad dash to clean up the bedroom, putting away the laundry, putting away clothes I never got to put back and just sorting out what needs to go inside the closet, what needs to be washed. And of course I have my coffee on the bedside table and I'm just having my breakfast in between cleaning up my bedroom. The bed is tidy. And where are my slippers? And the pile here has been cleaned up. And now it's time for dinner. I am going to make a vegetarian chili. It goes really well in this cold weather. I start by finely dicing a purple onion. I feel like the finer that you can dice it, the better it tastes. And you don't get like big chunks of onions, which I'm not a huge fan of. And so I like to saute it until it's at least translucent with a little bit of grapeseed oil. And here are the rest of the ingredients, some corn, beans, and diced tomatoes. And here is some garlic. Of course, no meal is complete without some garlic. So I add that to the onions. And then this is my chicken bone broth. So I'm not even sure if this is still considered a vegetarian meal, but I feel like bone broth just has so many valuable nutrients in there, so I like to incorporate that. And then I'm adding some corn, which is very yummy because it adds a level of sweetness to it. And then diced and roasted tomatoes. And then these great white beans are so, so good. They're a healthier, low, lower carb substitute for potatoes. And then some black beans to make it extra hearty and add another layer of protein to the mix. And then I'm just mixing it all up. And then of course, adding one full lemon juice in there. And then this, Chili garlic crunch from Trader Joe's is just life. I buy it all the time. And then of course cumin and of course salt because every meal does need a touch of salt. And then smoked paprika to give it a nice smoky chili taste. And then last but not least, some cilantro. And now I want to share the bowls that I just bought 
for the chili that I'm making. They are black bowls and they just are so, so cute. We have had white dinnerware for years now, so I wanted to go a completely different direction. And these black bowls are just perfect for anything really, oatmeal, soups, cereals. And then the chili is just coming together. Once you put the lid on, all the ingredients go really well together and they just cook up. And then I like to add, of course, avocado. And then some sour cream, shredded cheese. This is the color down low from my lip gloss line, from my lip gloss line, 10 E Beauty. Make sure to grab them while they're still available. My lips are pretty chapped right now. This is called Soar. I love that the lip liner trend has made a comeback. I am going to take some pictures right now. Okay, so I was pretty productive. I got to uh, shoot some shots. Hey. We're running toddler here. But I got to shoot some shots for some pieces that were sent to me. And now we are going to a Christmas themed train ride. So that should be very fun. Look how pretty it is. They really did it. Really nice job. Liam, hi. Liam, Liam. For your own safety, please keep your hands, arms, and feet inside the train at all times. And always remember to remain seated until the train comes back. Heading home from the train ride. Did you have fun, Liam? Heading home from the train ride. Did you have fun? No comment? All right. Well, there you go. There's his answer.